Tommy, we've got a uh, build it on tap for today. What'd you do? Upgrade the tool collection? <laughs> well, you know, I bought a kit. It comes with just about everything. But a lot of people have those kits, and they work around the house. They take a whole bag, and they mm -hmm. do a project here and there. It's stuffed in the garage. You know what? I thought it would be nice if we built the cabinet. We could take them out of that bag and store them on a nice shelf, probably maybe three or four feet wide, right. maybe three or four feet high, and put some compartments in it to separate everything. Not a bad idea. We don't always work on the job site. A lot of people work just out of the garage. Exactly. I recognize this. Made that old record cabinet out of yeah. this oak uh, plywood. Yeah, and you know what? I'm thinking we get a lot of material around left over from projects that we've done over the years. I've got some pine. I've got some small sheets of plywood and this one. Why not cut it up and make that cabinet out of this stuff? doesn't have to be fancy for a garage storage. Right. All right. All right. Let's get started by making a couple of strips out of this sheet. The cabinet's going to be four feet wide, three feet tall, and one foot deep. So that's what I'll cut the plywood down to. All right, I'm going to roughly hold these pieces together, and I'll be standing right here at the top. Mm -hmm. We have our two sides, and the piece of scrap that we had out of pine, that will be one of the dividers. Now, I want to be able to make some shelves in here, configure them a little bit different, All right. and I also want to be able to hang the power tools down at the bottom on some fingers. Off of like this? Right, they'll slide right down in there. Now you can go that way, they can go upside down. Doesn't matter, we'll just make some fingers there. And by fingers you mean what? You're going to cut some of this out? Yep, we'll cut it out and you slide the tool down in between the fingers. Cool. All right, let's get that laid out so we can cut them. All right, we've got everything lined up and we're ready to drill our holes. Now the first thing we did is we put a sacrificial board underneath the finished shelf so when we drill through it, we don't blow out the grain underneath. I've also placed this board right here so we center all of our holes or have them in the right position from this edge all the way down. We'll just place our drill against that board like that and drill our hole and every one will be lined up. And that Forstner bit's going to give us a rounded back to the finger? Right. And once we cut the round holes, then we'll position off the outside diameter of the holes a straight line out and that will create our finger. Smart. Now we want to remove this piece right here and that will create the slot. But I want to do one more thing first. I want to make the outside of each one of these fingers round. And to do that, I'm going to use a cup. Place the cup on the line. Draw it around like that. Do it all the way down. It'll hold our tools like that, or we want, we can hold them like that. Nice. Now let's cut the shelves down to size. Okay, last shelf cut the length. Yep. All right. All right, let me show you what I think we have. We have our fingers here for our tools to slide into. Narrow space, which gives us a shelf right here so we can put all of our batteries on here. And we'll get another narrow shelf so our reciprocating saw will fit in there. Mm -hmm. A shelf up here so you can put like trash bags or whatever else you have. Right, and then I see a circular saw grinder down here on the bottom shelf. Yep, yep. And then in here you've got the uh, jigsaw. Yeah, so we can put some power tools there, maybe a nail gun, whatever we have. We'll make some dividers out of some quarter-inch plywood to put in there. So we'll date the top of this shelf oh. and the bottom of that shelf so the dividers will slide in place. Okay. I'm going to date one side of two shelves at the same time to ensure the dados line up perfectly. 
This jig will hold the two pieces in place and keep the spacing even as I cut. With everything cut, we'll assemble the cabinet. Since it's just going in the garage, simple butt joints will do the trick. All right, want to flip it over, we get the back on. All right, now we got two pieces of half inch. I like it, Tommy. I like the look a lot. Yeah, now everything is organized. You know what you have. So if you notice with these dividers, I pulled out one so we could get a wider router in there, but you can always put it back to make the space narrow again. Easy to grab the uh, screw guns, impact drivers, no problem. Your batteries, Oops. tip skating saw, trash bags, whatever you need, Love whatever it. you want to put on there. Nice job. Thanks. Thanks for your help. Ten more, and we'll have enough storage for the rest of your tools. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for watching. This old house has got a video for just about every home improvement project, so be sure to check out the others. And if you like what you see, click on the subscribe button to make sure that you get our newest videos right in your feed.